Hey Ruganath, tell everyone about our Patreon community. Sure, Kostuba. The Wisdom of the Sages Patreon community is an incredible online yoga resource. If you like the type of yoga wisdom and culture we share on the show, then our Patreon community is a great next step. This is a listener-supported podcast, and any level of sponsorship will unlock a wide range of live and archive classes, talks, and even workshops. Raghunath teaches, I teach, and we have a host of other excellent teachers on topics ranging from yoga philosophy, asana classes, storytelling, Ayurveda, kirtan, cooking, meditation, and a lot more. We even have an incredible online bhakti 12-step recovery group. So if you want to check it out, go to patreon.com slash wisdom of the sages. All right, let's get it on. Live from Super Soul Farm, this is Wisdom of the Sages, a daily yoga podcast with your host, Raghunath, and co-host and senior educator at the Bhakti Center in New York, Kostuba Das. Welcome to the show. Imagine if it was a daily hot yoga podcast. <laughs> We're sweating. <laughs> Everybody's like sweating, dripping. Uh, how are you, Kostuba? I'm, I'm good. I'm looking forward to uh, the Christmas extravaganza. You know what? We did a little adulting last night ourselves. Me and me and Mara went on a double date. That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> I know, but that's sort of like going out to dinner. We okay. went out to dinner with that's Kaylee and Sachi. It was very I never did that in the old regime. We never went out on double dates. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, but uh, but yeah, we have our Christmas extravaganza. Our wisdom of the sage is Christmas extravaganza. You're all invited. It's nothing except that we're all having dinner at Div- Divya's together. No, Nothing and then except afterwards. Sadhu Sangha, I guess, there which is go. the highest thing. Yeah. And then afterwards, we'll go upstairs and uh, have some Hari Kata, talk about spiritual things. You're all invited. Divya's Kitchen on 25 First Avenue. Yeah. And that will be on December 23rd. And that will be from 5, 5 o'clock. Yeah. And if you want to do it, you have to email Mara because we have to reserve the table, which was... Which is wisdom of the sages 108 at gmail.com. And in the subject line, write extravaganza and write how many people are we reserve the table for. Don't and reserve it by, if you're not going because there's a limit to how many people can go. And do it by noon on Friday. So time's running out on that one. Get are right are people doing it? Are people going? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just check it in. Just me and Kostuba and Mara crying. <laughs> they don't like us. We're all alone on Christmas. Would come. Hey, I got two presents in the mail yesterday, Kostuba, Good from our you. Wisdom of the Sages community. Uh, one very wise me? guy, one very wise guy sent a box of Jiffy Corn Muffin mix. Oh, nice. <laughs> I know, I know, Jiffy Corn Muffin. Stocking stuffer. I do like corn muffins, if everybody knows the story of my mom giving me a they sent me like 10 boxes. My mom only gave me one box. That was it. That was all my Christmas presents I got when I was 14. One box. Of I think that might be just your imagination. Rabbi. It's my imagination. I think that might That's be the way that you were remembering it. Prabhu, you don't understand what's going on in the Capitol household. <laughs> my mother grew up in the Depression. Giving corn muffin mix, that was like a gracious offering. Um, and then someone sent me at this i must have said it on the show i did i always i said it a few <laughs> different times okay someone sent me said it on a, the rock show. a rock a, tumbler we haven't talked a, about that in like years a rock polisher i always wanted one yeah i thought you were gonna get one last year for christmas okay because it's been a while we talked, about we talked about it last christmas well someone must be behind on their episodes and they got me a <laughs> rock tumbler thank you very much mm-hmm. and it's all anonymous so i can't even thank anybody but thank you thank you thank you all right. Yeah, it's probably someone listening to old episodes. Yeah. And by the way, if you want to give a Christmas gift, to, suppose you got somebody on your Christmas list, you think like, what should I get them? I'd really like to make them a Hare Krishna. <laughs> but it's awkward over family holidays. I got a good idea. Wisdom of the Sages have a good idea. Give the gift of jelly. 
Go to happygirlkitchen.com, order your Wisdom of the Sages gift box, and it comes in the mail to them. They're like, oh, my God, jelly and a bag of Vegeta. This is incredible. <laughs> and then, you know what? The, they'll make that connection like delicious oh, jelly. Sweet Krishna. They'll put that together. They'll make that connection. Like Bhagavad Gita makes me happy. Bhagavad Gita yeah. makes me sweeter. Yeah. So um, check out that Happy Girl, Girl Kitchen. Go to put on wisdom in the coupon code for 10% off. And she is one of our Zoomers. And we just want to support her because we love her. All right. All right. We got some other announcements. Too. We got more announcements. We have a Back to Recovery group meeting at noon today. Yeah. And Which reminds me. Yes. That Jiva G and the Bhakti Recovery team is going to be at the Govardhan Eco Village. And this is quite an amazing thing because we are going to be doing re recovery meetings. Bless you, Mara. Um, we're going to be doing recovery meetings during the uh, during the whole month long, during the wisdom training, the music training, and the 300 hour. By the way, we had a last minute dropout of the 300 hour. Our sold out training has one spot open. If you're interested, let me know. And same, there's also one more spot for hmm. the uh, wisdom training. Okay. Um, the music is sold out. So um, see two, there. Two spots left. Yeah, Bhakti Retreats 108 at gmail.com. Bhakti Retreats okay. 108 at gmail.com. Okay, let's get through the announcements. They're, <laughs> they're getting thick. That's an announcement. Know. That I, is an announcement. I know, but there's been like three of those and still Mary has to Many go. Many things to announce. Yeah. Um, also, Josh Kane is offering a asana class for our Patreon members tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. You know what? I want to thank all the people who teach on Patreon. Thank you. Thank you. It's a lot. It's a lot. We don't thank them enough, but thank you. It means a lot. And I want to thank all the Patreon people that go. And I want to thank all the Patreon supporters that support us because it's community supported podcast. If you want to support patreon.com slash wisdom of the sages. Okay. All right. So. Nugget. You ready for a little nugget? Who's it from? Mm, it's a good one. It's from your friend and ours, Thomas Merton. Friend of all. Friend of all. I really think we should go get into our Little Prince week. Okay, maybe next week we'll do that. Little Prince? Yeah. Or maybe we should go Jesus week next week. Um, Jesus week. Okay, Jesus week. We could do that. Can we save that for Christmas? Is, is it that next is week Christmas? Christmas? Bill's oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's Where are you, Grinch? <laughs> <laughs> To get into the spirit, man. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm not a Grinch. I'm just a bad rapper. All right, I'm very oh. festive. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're working with Thomas Merton. Thomas Merton. Okay. To find love, I must enter this into the sanctuary where it is hidden. Oh, which is the mystery of God. Okay. So we're not talking about small L love here. Exactly. We're talking about big L love. Yeah. We're not talking about love of the material world. You know, um, we, we, we were doing the puja in this morning. We, we came across during the puja. I've had Moses just reading me verses, uh, not verses, uh, songs. And one of them was, uh, it, it caught my ears. The flute on his lips is the cause of great peril. Oh. And it, 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 it's diving into that whole concept of like when we think of religion, even forget material life. When we think of religion, we think of uh, gravity, uh, martyrdom, um, you know, solemnness um, instead of this world of enjoyment and party woot, woot, and, you know, spring break. But and then we reverse to the other side where everything is very solemn and grave. But. In Krishna Bhakti, it's the opposite. We're all about falling in love with a capital L, like fervently in love with Krishna. So the flute on his lips is the cause of great peril. Why? Because I've lost taste for all my material life. It's not just because I've been beaten down by it, but Krishna is so darn attractive. So this Thomas Merton verse is talking about not just 
this love of bukti of enjoy material enjoyment is talking about a secret love that you have to get through that material enjoyment first and then come out the other side and see actually there's a real deep love love with a capital l that's what our heart is actually longing for mm -hmm. yeah yeah I, I i like it's it's a, just one short sentence right but there's a lot to it yeah to find love okay in one sense that's what everybody's trying to do right? like whether we admit it or not pretty yeah. much that's what everybody's doing non-stop morning till night right even you like a, a criminal even a person who's thinking about how can we rob a bank they'll think if i if i rob a bank i'll be joyous you know, it, it's like crook it's crooked <laughs> thinking but it's yeah. still that desire to become happy maybe to maybe be in love to find love to find love to do it for someone that they love um to find love i must enter into the sanctuary so it's uh where it's hidden so that thing that we're looking for is hidden and, and then he says and that uh, he says which is the mystery of god right so in other words for just by saying the the, mis the mystery it, he's indicating that you know we're all moving around this world and um there's something that's meant to be discovered right or solved mm -hmm. I, suppose, I suppose you solve a mystery right it's yeah. like there's a there there's there's um some big question that needs to be answered. There's some mystery that's um maybe most people aren't even realizing the mystery is there, right? Mo maybe people are just kind of caught up in what's right in front of them, and when and because we could say that this realm, like, or let's put it this way, because texts like Gita and Bhagavatam speak of our realm, the the, the world that we're moving around in, as a reflection, right? then we might be seeing and a reflection looks like something, but it's backwards. Mm -hmm. right? So when we think love is what we're looking for and we're, we're, we're reaching out for the reflection of it in some way, even though that reflection has, uh, one can find great satisfaction in it. One can find great pleasure in it. One can find happiness in it, but still it's the reflection. It doesn't ultimately deliver. It's also the source of pain. It's also the source of suffering, the source of loss and so on. But there's, but the mystery is, can I get to the source of that reflection, right? Like if I can recognize this as a reflection, then that means the substance must exist somewhere. There's no, I like that. No. Yeah, right, there, there's no, if, if you're looking in a mirror, let, let's say Ragnath, let's say you're standing in front of some, shop on the sidewalk right okay and you're looking for you first you're looking into the shop and then your your focus changes from the inside of the shop through the window to the surface of the window itself okay and so on the surface of that glass is a reflection and you can see on the surface of the glass a reflection you can see on the surface of the glass that behind the image of you on the surface of the glass is is a man selling popcorn Okay, a man selling popcorn. Very good. Now, you're not looking behind yourself. You're looking in front. You're looking at this glass, but what do you right. know? I know that uh, there is uh, a man selling popcorn. Behind is that you. what you're talking about? Yeah, you know that behind, even though you're not looking behind you, you know that there's a man selling yeah. popcorn because you know that wherever there's a reflection, there has to be the, the substance, the source of the reflection must exist prior sure. to, the, to the reflection. And I'm projecting within my own mind like, oh, I like that. I um I've had that uh, or something uh, some type of oh, I'm trying to work with it. I'm not, I'm new to this analogy too. Well, so. No, no. Well, I'm just me. trying to establish one simple thing. Yeah, th that there is there there is a real wherever there, there's a there counterfeit has version. Yeah. There is a real as exactly. well. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You don't have counterfeit. You don't have counterfeit money without real money existing first. And I'm seeing in the reflection. Here we go. Here's my. Yeah. I'm seeing people behind me in that reflection, enjoying mm -hmm. it and smiling. So oh, yeah. it seems like there's something there. There's pleasure there. Yeah, yeah. And, in and instead of going behind me, yeah, I'm through the window, <laughs> that's and I right. Slice my arms up, <laughs> okay. and I get cut, and I cry. <laughs> okay, there you go. You made it more graphic and exciting. Okay, but yeah, more or less, that's where I was going with this. Is that what if we are? We're all searching for for love in one way or another. Even we don't want to admit it, right? Even we have trouble recognizing it. That's what's motivating us. But what if the love that we're searching for, and you know, isn't it that like you know we say all the songs are about love, all the films are about love, but Prabhu, they're also they're also about misery too. Prabhu, right? Well, not just that. It's just like, you know, when I was in high school, I've done a lot of really dumb things. Did you to be liked by people? Okay. You know what I mean? Sure. sure. Be accepted by people. Mm -hmm. 
dumb things, dumb things that can get you in trouble, get you arrested, stuff like that. I've done these things. Why? What were you doing? Just because I want <laughs> to get <love. laughs> what kind of you weren't even did you go to. You weren't even doing drugs. Different what, than what your private world? school. Where everything was perpendicular and parallel and wrinkle free, Mira. <laughs> But anyway, this, I, you know, but, but just to be accepted and embraced by a community, oh, some love, people will yeah. do horrible things right? because True. that's their thing. You uh, might hurt others, right? That, that's a very common thing, even amongst children. It's like you're, 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 you're trying to, you're trying to harm another child so that you get the, you win the affection of the other children, right? You, you know, sure. Sure. But and so bullying and, them and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, you just want to be accepted or looked up to or loved. But it's it's a twisted type of lens we're wearing. We're you know, we're looking for love in all, in all the, the wrong, wrong places. places. I wow, set you up. That, that is deep. That is deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah so, so 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 here it's saying that there's a mist that that this true love is something different. And we really need to understand what it is. We don't quite get it here so well we're still thinking that love means i find that person that really satisfies my senses and my mind right and gives me some sort of comfort some sort of thrill maybe and and that's what i'm calling love where where what these texts are saying there's something else that's really the capital l love that's the reflection of the love right but there's a capital l love which it, what is it um characterized by is characterized by entire selflessness, right? Like in other words, when the happiness of the object of your love becomes your happiness, that's called capital L love. Mm -hmm. Like in, 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 and when it's completely that. So when we hear like, for instance, about the love of the gopis for Krishna, right? Mm -hmm. We almost hear it, it almost sounds too extreme, but what we're looking at is like real love, like, not the reflection, but the, the source. And the mystery of God is that he has no interest except that kind of love. He's not, he's not judging, right? He's not, he's really not even creating, you know, like he's really not, he, all of this stuff, he, um, what do you call it again? Like when you outsource it, it's right. It's all outsourced. It. Yeah. When you get the mysteries, when you get to the very, not the even whole material world has been outsourced to the devas there you go do your yeah. thing guys yeah he's not creating he's not he's not interested in maintaining he's just the loving. material world. he's the he's god just, of love he's lost in loving adventures right and when you get mm -hmm. there when you begin to contemplate meditate on that then you begin to understand what love is like the real love the source and that's the mystery in a in a sanctuary that yeah. one is meant to pursue. and if you don't know that then what happens is um you fall when you don't know that what happens is you fall into what um um previous uh, uh genius minds of the past uh wrote in uh various shastras love stinks love does stink love with a small l will get you stinking because mm. it's it's just like you're wrestling with a skunk it's like it's never good it never delivers love, what that's, you want. how do the lyrics go <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't know he loves her and she loves him and he, and he loves somebody else you just can't win Ooh. and so it goes until the you day you are, die it's unbelievable how much music you know <laughs> and so it goes until the day you got into punk and hardcore at 15 it's you have goes. you're like a you're like the what's the rock and roll hall of fame well when you're a kid you know like all that stuff sticks in your head you know like it could have been Not me it could have been shlokas you and love we, her but she loves him and he, he loves, loves somebody, somebody else. else you just can't you wait just so can't. it goes until the day you die this thing they call love is going to make you cry i've had the blues the reds, the reds and the pinks, and the pinks. one, one thing, thing for sure do, 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 do. oh that is such a setup for the rhyme I've had the reds and the pinks. He, he's like, what rhymes with stinks? What rhymes with stinks? What rhymes with stinks? pink? <laughs> I've had the blues. Love stinks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Love's gonna find you. And yes, it is. You just can't hide. You'll hear it call. Your heart will fall. Then love will fly. It's gonna soar. I don't care for any Casanova thing. All I can say is love stinks. We I've been but... through the diamonds. I've been through minks. <laughs> Another, Another. <laughs> he's, he's reaching. He's reaching. What rhymes with stinks? Where's my rhyming dictionary? Anyway, the point is small L is a yeah. small L small love L love stinks. Is a mousetrap. Yeah. 
is it's, it's a mouse trap. It's pretty bait. Okay. You know, Shakespeare okay. called it. You know, we called it like bait that you get and, something and, that looks good. Bam, snap. And and the more you know, and we're not saying that it's like um black and white here. That, that in other words, and let my point being that the more that your lowercase love begins to reflect uh capital love, right? Higher case, what do you call it? Capital letter love. <laughs> Right. Capital letter, capital letter love. Yeah, the, 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 in other words, the more selflessness is in our relationships, mm. the more that we are understanding God and the more that we're understanding who we are, you know? It's it's the center. It's the center. Yeah. Just like we, I told that story about once, oh, uh, these two people were um, getting married and they, uh, uh, yeah. they, they did their astrological chart. And the guy was saying, well, this is, ha you guys are married for a long time. It seems like you have a very astrologically, you're a horrible mix. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> yeah, I know. We've just decided that every day we're going to chant our chant Japa together and read the Bhagavatam. That's the center of our marriage. Interesting. And it overcomes any inauspicious things that, you, you, know, you know, very interesting. In other words, and like it, it's so powerful, can overcome even really negative fate. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Planets. Malefic planets. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. So Thank we get you, along Thomas. With so well. The wisdom of the sages. You do it center every day. of our uh, center of our thing. Bhagavatam every, Bhagavat every day. There you go. Can't help it. We can't even sneak away from it. Did I tell you that once uh, my guru was given a class and he was talking about a disciple's home who he st who he stayed in. Right? Love when Kostuba squirrels, don't you? This is not a squirrel. It's right I feel, on point. I feel I've got. Uh... Okay, go on. And so he said he was saying that in he said I just stayed in the home of my students, my disciples, and they have this thing that they do in their home where they have Srila Prabhupada. I don't know if it was his. I think it was his japa, right? Like his his chanting, mm -hmm. uh, Maha Mantra. Mm -hmm. There's a recording of it, and it's playing within the home twenty four hours a day. <laughs> some people do that some people play that japa it's like a it's like a old it's like a recording of proper yeah. chanting japa like and people and play that as like the says, soundtrack of their life well so, so this family was doing that right and yeah. he said and he said what they told him was that since they started doing that there's never been any fighting within the home like wow. no mosquitoes, <laughs> like, like anything, like the home is always clean. That's it. He said it drove me crazy, but <laughs> yeah, RMR says he does it when he sleeps. Right. That's interesting. Maybe I ought to try that. You know, it's good that Joppa's on there. I chant cool. Joppa to fall asleep. That's what I've been doing lately. I just chant Joppa. I want my thoughts oh, really? to be really I have good, no you know? problem falling asleep. That is my gift. It's not even, boom, I, I'm out. Well, what I mean is Six not. Six hours later, boom, I'm up. I don't mean I do it to help me fall asleep. I mean I do it as I'm sleeping, as I'm as I'm going to sleep. Try it, Rubba. You don't think I have a elaborate ritual for going? <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, sorry for speaking so. down to you like that. <laughs> if I make you should try it, Rugga, off instead of going, diving into your mode of ignorance. Right. It's not like I'm jumping into bed going, "Okay, let the fantasies <laughs> happen. I'm ready to sleep." All right. Okay, okay Rugga. Let's get into Hit the Shri Mad Bhagavatam. Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chayvana Rotamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tatojayam Madhiriyat. Before we start in the Shri Mad Bhagavatam, which is our very means of conquest, one should offer respectful obeisances to the Supreme Lord Narayan. Unto Narayan Rishi, the supermost human being, unto Mother Saraswati, the goddess of learning, and to Sri Vyasadeva, the author. Nasta Prayesha Badreshu Nicham Bhagavat Sevaya. Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhakti Ravati Naishtiki. By regular attendance and classes in the Bhagavatam and by rendering service to the pure devotee, all that is troublesome to the heart will become eradicated. And loving service to the Supreme Lord, who is praised with transcendental songs, will be established as an irrevocable fact. Om Gyana Tamarandasya Gyana Anjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Madhatam Yena Tazmay Shri Gadaveda Maha. I was born in the darkness of ignorance. The teachers, my teachers are opening my eyes with the torchlight of knowledge. I offer my obeisances at their lotus feet. Nice. Torchlight of knowledge. It's a good one. <laughs> ah! Sometimes it's too bright, huh? What do you think of that? Your knowledge just blinds me. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Wow, that was a belly laugh from there. I've never experienced that. <laughs> Full belly laugh. No, it's just like, no, sometimes truth is too bright. Like, I just can't digest this. Can't be sometimes there. people willingly choose illusion. The no, blue pill. I, I, I want illusion. Don't give me good advice right now. I want illusion. Hmm. All right. All right. Bear, where are we at? Reading from Canto 4, Chapter 30, Text 21. Can you hear her? Because she's not speaking into no, the she, mic. She's got to speak into the mic more, yeah, when she does that. Reading from Canto 4. Canto 4, chapter 30, text 21. Now, um, now we're getting to the point where uh, the Prachetas are going to speak. What what just happened was they came out of this water after doing years and years and years of meditation. And they saw Lord Vishnu, which was like, wow. You know, that was who they were meditating on the whole time they were in the water. It was a pretty good day they had. They were yeah, but then he life. told First them. First they saw Shiva. First they saw Shiva. No, Shiva then going, going into the water. Yeah. Yeah. But that was not that day. That was many, like 10,000 <laughs> celestial years before or something like that. Did they age? No, they didn't age, I don't think. I think they came out of the water about the same age. And because they're still marrying age, right? Because then, then Lord yeah. Vishnu says, I'm really pleased with all of you. And here's the next thing I want you to do. I want you to marry this girl who's the daughter of, what was her name? Primlocha, Primlocha. the heavenly uh, society girl who came down and seduced the sage Kratu and um, gave birth to this, Kandu, Kandu, gave birth to this girl and she was in no place to, to raise, I think neither the sage nor the girl, you know, took interest in, in raising from Locha, but uh, it seems like it was all fated to happen this way. She left it with the trees. The trees said, we're not able to handle this. She left it with the moon. The moon raised the daughter, okay? The god of the moon. And uh, he's saying, marry her. She's qualified. She's beautiful. She's wonderful. This is going to work just right. And they all said, well, okay. <laughs> right? and, then, and then they're going to begin to speak and offer their prayers to Lord Vishnu. Um, and they're going to be really very interesting. So why don't you start with text 21. The great sage Maitreya said, After the personality of God had spoke thus, the Prachetas began to offer him prayers. The Lord is the bestower of all success in life and is the supreme benefactor. He is also the supreme friend who takes away all the miserable conditions experienced by a devotee. In a faltering voice, due to ecstasy, the Prachetas began to offer prayers. They are purified by the presence of the Lord who is before them face to face. Okay. So it, this is a great, imagine that you spend even, I mean, they spent a very long time, but imagine if you conscious, you see what happened was when they were going to perform their austerities, they met a great devotee of Krishna in the form of Lord Vishnu, right? A great devotee of Vishnu. And and he said, I'm going to give you something that's going to change your life, right? I'm going to give you uh, uh, these prayers to meditate on. And these prayers are beautiful prayers that spoke, especially about the form of Lord Vishnu. This is where you bring your mind, right? This is the object of capital L love, right? You go and lovingly meditate on the form of Lord Vishnu. They took that, that um, yogic advice to heart. They went into the water and they meditated with love on that form and then when they came out of the water that form appeared before them right and now they they've been churning this like um higher case love right what do we call it capital what are we going to call it capital love capital l love, love with a capital l they've been cultivating love with a capital all caps l. love like kind of like laverne right? love, what <laughs> Don't get me going with Laverne <laughs> and Shirley theme songs. I'll sing it right now. Don't I was sing, actually singing it the other day. You don't have to do it now. I won't. But they've been they've been meditating with on capital L love. They've they've been meditating on that source of the reflected love, right? And they come out, and now they're going to express their heart. And there's going to be a lot of great stuff that comes out of their mouths right now. We're going to text, text twenty two. The Prachetas spoke as follows: Dear Lord. You relieve all kinds of material distress. Your magnanimous transcendental qualities in holy name are all auspicious. Oh. This conclusion is already settled. 
You can go faster than the speed of the minds and the mind and words. Mm. You cannot be perceived by material senses. Whoa. We therefore, whoa, 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 whoa. Is, was that it? Was that the, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Continue. We therefore offer you respectful obeisances again and again. Again and again. Mm. There's a lot said, even just in this one little verse, right? Lots. The first line. This. Well, the first line, Namo Namaha. You know, I'm offering you my respectful obeisances, right? You looked into it even deeper than me. Okay, good for you. Okay. Namo Namaha, yes. All right. Klesha Vinashanaya. You, you really you relieve wow. material distress. You relieve and, and you know what? It's it's sort of true. I mean, a lot of other, a lot of us have experienced that sometimes immediately, just by regulating our senses, we it's relieve true. huge chunks <laughs> of material distress. Yeah. I'm unregulated. I never thought about regulating my senses until I met the devotees. A matter of fact, some people get into bhakti and they, they the teachers that don't even talk about giving up certain things. That is a huge cause of our distress. So we regulate our senses and it is like we're we're letting go of baggage and baggage of baggage of of, of stress related, you know, pain from engagement with the from unregulated engagement with the material senses in the material world so yeah that's the first one and it gets better as you become this more internal nirupitodara gunavayaya you have all auspicious qualities and and holy name yes um then yeah you want to comment on it no go ahead then he says Mano Vacho Vega Puro Javaya, that you're faster than the mind and the words. What do you think that means, right now? Faster than the mind and the words. Yeah. Faster than your words, that's for sure. <laughs> faster than your faster. mind right now. <laughs> like I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> let's re let's read it. Here's from the commentary. Prophet writes this. We cannot approach the Supreme Personality of Godhead, right? This is what Merton was talking about, going into that sanctuary, right? You can't get into that sanctuary. Sanctuary! That was actually another Jay Giles band song. No, it was uh, The Cult. Well, Jay Giles had a sanctuary too. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. Um, we cannot approach the Supreme Personality of Godhead by the speed of mind or words. But if we stick to devotional service, we can easily and quickly approach him. This is kind of like a mother you showed a chat tying up Krishna kind of thing, right? Yeah. There's a there's a lot of subject matter that we can conquer by our mind or words that our mind or words can catch up to, can encircle, can tie down, can you know um, capture. We can't capture the supreme that way, but mm -hmm. it's only through love, right? Only through love with a capital L. Um, in other words, the Supreme Lord is attracted by devotion, right? Devotional service. He cannot, and he cannot approach us more swiftly than we can approach him with our, and he can approach us more swiftly than we can approach him with our mental speculation. Mm. The Lord has stated that although he is beyond the range of mental speculation and the speed of thought, he can be approached easily by his causeless mercy. This is the mystery, right? Thus, thus, only by his causes mercy can he be attained. Other methods will not be effective. We're open to it, but nope. it seems like love, devotional love, mm -hmm. and the mercy of the Lord seems like that's the highest thing. Okay, yeah. text 23. Three. Dear Lord, we beg to offer our obeisances unto you. When the mind is fixed upon you, the world of duality, although a place of material enjoyment, appears meaningless. Okay. Right? The yeah. flute on his lips is the great cause of great is the cause of great peril. Right? The whole material world, even the things I loved, it's like, eh, big deal. <laughs> even the things I loved. Right? Yeah. Sure. If you, if you tell a devotee, a guy who's very fixed up in Krishna consciousness, and you say, we're going on a cruise, he'd be like, Oh, okay. What else? N things of the material world don't as excite us. Mm -hmm. If I say, hey, we're going to go to India, we're going to sit on the ground, wake up early in the morning and chant, which doesn't really sound attractive for a vacation. That sounds attractive. Sounds attractive for a person engaging in bhakti. Things of this world that used to like make us excited don't excite us anymore. Hmm. All right. Where am I, Mayor? 
Your transcendental form is full of transcendental bliss. They've been tasting it. Yeah. They've mm. been meditating on it for years and years. Now they, th th this is realization that they're speaking. It's not theory. Mm. We therefore offer respect to you. Your appearance as Lord Brahma, Lord Vishnu, and Lord Shiva are meant for the purpose of creating, maintaining, and annihilating the cosmic manifestation. That's the outsourcing we were talking about. Right. right. Th this verse is in this verse is within the context of Krishna or Vishnu's um, relationship with, you could say, or uh, interaction with the material world. Right. Mm -hmm. Saying you're you're pure and peaceful and fixed in your in your sarupa in, in your nature. And when one understands that this material realm, which is a realm of duality, your nature is the opposite of that, right? It's a realm yeah. of, you could say, eternal oneness. It's not going back and forth and changing. But but when you connect with that, we've been meditating on your form. And we've tasted this. We've understood that that it's fixed. It doesn't, it, it's not like, it's not of this world. It's a solid, steady source of connection and bliss. But, and when one tastes that, then this material world, which... When you don't know about this spiritual, the source of the reflection, when you don't know about that, that eternal form of God, you, you look at the things of this world, the reflection, and you think that's the substance. That's where I'll taste what I need to taste. That's where I'll find the satisfaction, the peace, the, whatever it is that I'm looking for. I'm looking for it in the reflection. But when you taste the real thing, Raghunath, ain't nothing. I thought you'd hit it. <laughs> Oh, ain't nothing. I thought they were like, it's. I thought you were doing the Coca Cola commercial from the seventies. Oh. It's the real thing. Oh, yeah, could Coke been. is <laughs> what the world wants. But they're anyway, like the real thing, right? No, and it's true. And, yeah. and, and then the problem is, if it's not, if if we go into some small l type of love, then we think, and this didn't work out. Oh, I just got to tweak it, and then I'll find the real thing here. Yeah. And it might be a better relationship or it might be a worse relationship, but whatever it is, it's still not the capital L love. Or, or you might even get cynical and just say it doesn't exist in the whole world. And then that's right. the that's opposite. the Love Stinks song. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's so this it. is also the analogy of the fly trying its best to get out of the window. It somehow came in through the front door. And now it's trying to get out the because it appears like your reflection analogy. It mm. appears like light is right out there it's just a, a moment away i just gotta try harder and so i'm, I'm walking on the way around the window crawling around but it's here and the, it, when, 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 as a human that i am as a human witnessing a fly try to get out of a window it's like i feel like saying oh you poor little fly come with me come into the dark kitchen i will lead you out the same way you came but they refuse to listen they're still gonna bang and bang and bang they refuse to heed my good advice and mm. what happens? They end up on their back, flapping their wings, you know, sucked up by a vacuum cleaner a few days later. Mm. And that's the material realm is trying desperately to improve a material situation because it appears like there's hope right around really close. And it's not. You have to go back into the dark and out the front door. And that is that is the that's the way you came into this world we have to give up the attraction towards the fake light and the and the glass that's holding us back and we have to come back um uh, uh, come back to uh what doesn't necessarily appear attractive huh. right mm? okay. we have to discipline our mind and our senses yeah. not so attractive i like indulgence mm? okay i like it yeah so so it's a nice verse because it's just um He's he's saying, you're outsourcing your appearance as Lord Brahma, Lord Vishnu, and Lord Shiva. Um, so these th these are prayers to Krishna. They are um, they're, they're they're meant for that other realm, right? You outsource all of that, but by fixing my mind upon this form that I'm looking at right now, I I recognize that whole realm as being um, illusory. This 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 realm of duality. I I I feel it as it being is is it's meaningless right mm -hmm. it has no true meaning it has no substance it it's just constantly changing all right now you know the difference between krishna and vishnu don't you no well, there's what the four differences four differences can you name them oh i probably can <laughs> but can mara name them can mara name the four differences <laughs> 
not fair if you're asking me because you're looking at your phone for the answer <laughs> oh. that you don't know either. Right. You could only ask me if you know the answer without looking at your phone. All right, for the benefit of everyone, I think I know them, but I'm just going to read them anyway. Right. First one is I could I think I could name them. Okay. One is that his beautiful flute playing. Yes, right. Venu Maduri. He can yeah. attract all living so, entities all over the universe by playing on his flute. Like Lord Vishnu has incredible power, but there's things that Krishna manifests that just even Lord Vishnu doesn't. So the one is that. One yeah. is that he has incredibly beautiful special pastimes that are uniquely beautiful. Leela Maduri. Yeah. He is the performer of wonderful varieties of pastimes, especially his childhood pastimes. He's always surrounded by loving devotees. Is that it? Bhakta like that? Maduri. He is surrounded by devotees endowed with wonderful love of Godhead. And you always miss the last one, don't you? Um, slip in my mind. Rupa Maduri. Oh, he's just his form is just uniquely beautiful. He has a wonderful excellence of beauty, which cannot be rivaled anywhere in the creation. Even by Vishnu. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Close, right? It's Vishnu has the 60 qualities and he has 64 qualities. Hmm. Okay. Just thought yeah. I'd throw that in a little transcendental yeah. squ squirrel there. Okay. How about text yeah. 24? Text 24, my dear Lord, we offer our respectful obeisances unto you because your existence is completely independent of all material influences. Mm. Interesting. You could probably dissect that. Yeah, can't, okay, stupid. we can get into all these. Your Put Lordship always takes away the devotee's miserable conditions. Mm -hmm. it does. For your brain plans how to do so. Okay. You live everywhere as Paramatma. Therefore, you are known as Vasudev. Mm -hmm. You also accept Vasudev as your father. Vasudev as your father. One is Vasudev and one is Vasudev. Mm -hmm. And you are celebrated by the name Krishna. You are so kind that you always increase the influence of all kinds of devotees. Okay. So the, 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 again, it's almost like um, I've learned all these things about you, you know, mm -hmm. right? When, when we were in meditation, we learned all these things about you. Now we know you like for real and we're excited about it. You know, this is like, I can imagine this is coming out with tears in the eyes and, and an experience of, um, of joy welling up in the heart that's hard to hold down, you know? Mm. And they're saying, I, I don't picture this as like, um, I don't picture this as like, uh, sometimes this almost like prayer, prayer with fear or, 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 or even no. just awe, right. But with love, it's a prayer, like with, ah, imagine if you were with Krishna face to face, or Lord, you'd be like, ah, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I would be like, ah, they're crying and oh, crying. Oh, I can't believe oh. <laughs> yeah, so I don't even like know that. if I'd be able to even say any prayers. I'd be just be like, oh sometimes it's like that. Like when Dhruva first saw Lord <laughs> Vishnu, he was just would like, have oh. to just slap me. Hey, easy, Raghu. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> have you Think ever about had, it? Think I've about had... it. Chris is right there, holding a flute, <laughs> holding a sweet dress, and and and, and so beautiful. Like yeah. we can't even imagine that beauty. And then all of a sudden you see the beauty. And he's there, like in full color and, and like uh, vibrant, <laughs> fulgent. What would I say? I speak. Well, that happened to Dhruva. He couldn't say anything. And then Vishnu just touched him on the head with his conch shell. And then he began to flow. He began to, you know, just spontane ad lib spontaneous. I want that. I want that. I want a Krishna to touch me on the head with his conch shell. And I want to be there just like ah, Chris, with Krishna. Then just pray for it every day. Raghunath. Okay. Morning, noon, and night. And it'll yes. come to you. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, okay. Father. Thank you, <laughs> Father. Father Kostuba. You're welcome. Now let's look at what he said. He's one first he said, Vishuddha Sattvaya, that mm -hmm. you exist completely independent of all material influences. They get it, right? Mm -hmm. You're you're not bound by time. You're not bound by the three gunas. You're above it all. Right. Um all the material things that we search for happiness, they're not above that. And therefore they come and they go. Therefore they satisfy and they dissatisfy. You're you're beyond all that. And then he says, you're Hariye. Hariye. You, what does Hari mean? To take away. It means like a yeah. thief. 
you take away. Deep. You take away the misery of all the devotees, right? You focus on that form, you can reconnect, and one's miseries disappear. It's really and true. That, yeah. yeah. You're, you focus on Hari, you're forced to zoom out of your existence as you know it. I'm the it's parent, true. I'm the son, I'm the brother, I'm, the, I'm this, I'm of this world, I'm of this nation, I'm of this home. This is my stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna. This is my career. Yeah. This is my body. Once you, when worshiping Lord Hurry, he takes away all of that fake, fake identities, and you just are left with your real identity, which is, I'm a tiny part of something bigger. Instead of posturing myself as so many, you know, uh, so many titles I have. Right. Right. And Here's right. my bio, Kostuba. <laughs> Roganoff is a senior, blah, 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 blah. 500 hour. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I hate bios. You know what the bio is? Here's the bio. Oh, yeah. Need a bio, uh, yoga teacher. I'm a Here's fallen, lowly. I am a fallen jiva, lost in the material world, <laughs> desperately trying to find my way out. Boom. That's your bio. Okay. That's the, the bio of the fallen jiva. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Good okay. Name for the show. Good name for the show. I was thinking um, lowercase love stinks, but uh, we could go with that love one too. Stinks. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Hari made a saha, or Hari made a say that your brain works only to deliver the conditioned souls, right? That, that's, that's his love, right? Yeah. Vasudevaya. Yeah. The Paramatma, right? And Prabhave Sarvasatvatam, you increase the influence of all kind of devotees. All right. Like it. Text 25. Dear Lord. So imagine you're standing right in front of the Lord. You're just like, and this is flowing out of your mouth. Right. Dear Lord, we offer a respectful obeisance to you because you are from the ab from your abdomen sprouts the lotus flower, the origin of all living entities. You are always decorated with the lotus garland and your feet resemble the lotus flower with all its fragrance. This must be beautiful in Sanskrit. Yeah, your eyes are also like the lotus petals of the flower. And therefore, we offer our respectful obeisances unto you. Read this. Read the Sanskrit, please. Nama Kamala Nabhaya, Nama Kamala Malene, Nama Kamala Padaya, Namaste Kamalekshana. Namaste Kamalekshana. <laughs> Namaste Kamalekshana. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Boy, uh, we got to break it down, right? This is one of the, you know, one of those poetic um, verses that's uh, using the symbolism of the, the lotus, right? The Kamala. Uh, mm -hmm. we offer our respectful obeisances unto you. Nama Kamala Nabhaya. Nama, we offer respectful obeisances unto you. Kamala Nabhaya. That you're, you're, I suppose there's different ways that one could, uh, translate that, right? That your, your navel itself is like a lotus or that the lotus grows from your navel. Interesting. Upon which, and, and when you say that that way, then you're indicating that he's the origin of everything. Right, right. That, because Brahma's this... Brahma's born in the lotus, and all living beings are born in Brahma. Yeah, I love and that. And then Nama Kamala Malane, uh, that you're always decorated with the garland of lotus flowers. I love when people come up to me, and go, "Oh yeah, you believe in God? What came first, the chicken or the egg?" <laughs> Ever people <laughs> say that to you? It's a weak one. It's I was like, argument. "Yeah, you, you, you know, who came first, uh, Brahma. That's what came first. <laughs> okay. And then Nama Kamala Padaya, Mara. Translate that Sanskrit phrase for us. Ooh, hot seat. Say it again. Without looking at the screen. Pada, what's the, <laughs> what's the pada? Pada is lotus. No, no, no. The feet. Feet. Yeah. Feet. Okay. Yeah, feet. yeah, so Kamala Padaya. Your feet are beautiful and fragrant. Mm. Just like a lotus flower. Imagine what those. Unlike you know what most I, feet. Unlike most feet. They're not so beautiful often and not so fragrant. The only the 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 the, the closest reflection that I can think of this your feet. No, no. <laughs> you've got nice feet, nice hands, and you're sort of a fragrant man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. But but I'm thinking of you know how um even like with 
anyway it's a very removed reflection it's a very i don't want to whose feet are you going to glorify right now you know we got people become captivated with the feet like the paws of like of dogs or cats or or what to speak of like big cats like like a tiger paw oh, okay all right right it's like it's almost like um people become a little obsessed with them right they're like they want to they're touch them and rub them cats. and yeah. yeah it's like you know so if a, if a tiger's foot could captivate one just think about the lord's feet right that, well, that you would see them and actually be like oh, i just want to look at them i just want to touch right. them imagine, I, they're so oh, i like the way you're going right. with this imagine yeah. looking at lord vishnu's feet yeah, my you, feet are definitely if you were to look at my feet with the socks off you'd be like are you okay what, <laughs> what have you been doing <laughs> what the are you okay do you need help <laughs> my feet <laughs> Yeah, but but if you could become obsessed with these feet, they're just so attractive. They're so fragrant. They're so soft. They're so they're, the mm. shape of them. Everything. It sounds weird because if we have that for another human being, it's like some kind of weird fetish or something, right? Well, you know what? I think I have to read these verses with as much excitement as the people. They're standing in front of the Lord. They're gonna, ah! they're gonna be like that excited. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I'm reading these too much like, oh, blah, 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 yeah, 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 no, this is real. This is all wrong. <laughs> they yeah. are like in ecstasy saying this. All yeah. Right, text 26. No, well, no, the last one. Namaste Kamal Kamalekshana. The eyes are going to. Oh, the, the, yeah, the aksha, the eyes. The beautiful. Like lotus petals. The beautiful lotus petal eyes. I, but I think we're done for today. I think that's the, the we're out of time. Hmm. Alrighty. More tomorrow. More tomorrow. Well, I'm interested in hearing what Mara has written down today because, you know, the day is long and sometimes there's different ups and downs and different challenges. And I'm always looking for a good little goodie, a good little nugget to take with me. You know, what do you got? Get the rock polisher. It doesn't work. I get frustrated. <laughs> I need a I need a I need a takeaway, Mara. Help I, me. I got some good stuff some good here. takeaways uh, today. <laughs> That's what Mara always said. I got some good stuff today. I do. One day she's gonna say, like, I didn't get anything good. <laughs> you yeah, guys were really she was off. like that. She was like, I, I don't know if it was the audience and me or if it was you guys and the show just was terrible, but we don't have anything good here. Uh, there's a secret deeper love with capital L. Mm -hmm. Secret. Love earn find, love. Big find L. the source of the reflection. Find it. Find Search the source it. of the reflection. <laughs> Turn around, don't break through the window. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Small L love stinks. There you Small go. Small L love stinks. Yeah, yeah. Let Small L love stinks. The lowercase love reflect our capital L love. Me and Kasuba should start a band. You could. <laughs> yeah. um, our mind and words can't capture the supreme. Can't do it. Can't capture him. Give up the attraction to the window or you'll end up like the fly on the windowsill. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they die on the windowsill and yeah. they get stuck there and they last for like, they'll just stay there for like forever. It's like they are. Yeah, their bodies. Their bodies, they don't, they deteriorate. I, I bet if I go slowly. to my windowsills, I'll find fly bodies. Okay. Our only bio is that we are a lost fallen jiva. That's the bio. That's the bio. You want a new bio? Yoga teachers out there. We got yours. Lord Vishnu's feet are more captivating than a tiger's. Mm -hmm. Even more than the tiger. More than mine. And we're looking for love in all the wrong places. That's right. Oh, I should have played that song right now. Yeah. You know how many times I've sang that song on the show? There's like certain <laughs> songs on Wisdom of the Sages that we sing all the time. I think that's not wonderful. we, Raghunath, not we. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you for joining everybody. Thanks for everybody joined late on Zoom. If you want to join us on Zoom, you can. You just email Mara, wisdom of the sages 108 at gmail.com, and she will send you the secret codes to enter into our private chambers. Come to the yeah, come to the Christmas extravaganza. We can all hang out, tell stories, dine together. At, uh, and just uh, email Mara, wisdom of the sages 108 at gmail.com. In the subject matter, just put extravaganza. And then you can be included. We're going to hang out together, get ready for the new year together. It's going to be great. Um, and uh, then we'll have a little satsang, a little kirtan, tell little stories, and make it a little sweet evening together. Um, looking forward to that. Um, one 
space left for the 300, one space left for the Wisdom of the Sages training in India. You can still do it. If you were th sitting on the fence, I'm here to kick you off that fence and push you to the other side, falling eastward. <laughs> Email boxyretreats108 at gmail.com. I love when Kostuba laughs. It's better than when I say something. Kostuba's just like, Stop, Roger. Golf Stop. clap. Golf clap. <laughs> just okay. He doesn't even do the golf clap. He's just like nothing. No, the eye rub. When I do the eye rub, Roger, that's me like. That's what. It, yeah. Stop. When he does the eye rub, he's just like Ugh, looking at the clock. Oh, what else do you have to say? Happy Girl Kitchen. You know the deal with that. Chasing rhinos. Chasing rhinos. The, the chasing rhino selection uh, collection is out. I, I think. Oh, wow! The, yeah, all three. You get that at ch chasingrhinos.com. You get the whole thing. Nice, nice. I think we should see paws now, Roganoth. Focus and merit. Focusing on creatures with paws. I see Chapu's. She's got a dog there. It's got paws. Let's look at paws. Can I see up close? Oh, you see? Ooh, Captivating, isn't it? Dogs. <laughs> I like those dogs. <laughs> 